Welcome back to my Angular tutorial. Alex Louis here, part-time adjunct. Today I want to touch upon the ng content tag and I'm going to show you a little bit of an example and hopefully that can get you started on on using the ng content tag. The first thing you'll notice is I'm in my HTML page I have a title. This is my uh, just put a title on ng content example. And if you take a look at this here, this is actually a component that is being consumed by my application root. So let's take a look at the code. So as you see here, this is the application root. So that's the one that's been bootstrapped. And that's my title. So ng content example. I put a breakpoint. I mean a, a breakpoint, a, a break tag. And then I have my component that I built on the last lecture when we used the ng template and you ever wondered when you first started writing your angular apps what happens if you write content within between your tags and use it as an HTML tag well that's what each ng content is for ng content allows you to grab whatever's inside your component tag and project it uh, as part of the HTML. So in this particular example what I've done is I've taken my component and then I've also added just plain old content within here that I expect to render on my component. Now how does that look in terms of how did I hook that up on the component side? Well, remember the application root is a consumer and we are consuming this component. So if we take a look at the HTML side, we have a header, right? Which is okay. That has nothing, no ng content in it. We have a body and that's fine. So if we go back to our page here where rendering the header, the body, just HTML content. And then here we have a footer, which again, these classes really don't exist. I just, I'm just kind of giving you a use case idea of how you can use this. Now, inside my footer, you'll notice that I put in the Angular tag ng content. So what this is going to do is when Angular sees this, this tag, it's going to project whatever is inside the consumer. So in this particular case, we put ng content here. And if we go back to the root, it's going to project what's inside here. So that means that now, if we go back to our example, it's going to project hello there, I am content. And this is coming from the root. It's coming from the root. Now this is not the only thing you can use. You can actually select things um, with the ng content tag. And let me show you a quick way on how you can do that. Now let's take a look at my root again. And what I've done is I've placed different tags within my content of my component. And what I want to do is now, instead of hard coding the things inside my components HTML div tags, I'm actually going to have the ability to select the one that I want to render. So that's, that's another feature of the ng content tag is that now by using the tags, I can render the one that I want using ng content. So for example, if I go back to my component, remember I had the div class header and now I've replaced my text with ng content and I have now the select attribute. And the select attribute allows me to select the tag that I want to actually render. So in this particular case, I chose h1 
and that's what's going to render render in here. For the body, I so I chose to select div, and then div. This is the one that's actually going to render. And then lastly, the span. I selected span, and span is the one that's going to render. Which means that now I can, uh, if I refresh my page, right, I have my first header that is coming from, again, from the consumer. Then I have my div, second ng content, and then my span, third ng content. And, that, and then again, that allows me the flexibility to select the tag that I want. The other, the other use case for this is that suppose that you want to, you want to select a specific type type of footer and you want to swap in and swap out, then that's where you would do this over here. So, so let's say you created your own custom footer tag, where you would, you know, you create a component called custom footer A, right? Um, and then what you could do is I can take this and make it a selector uh, for this particular footer okay this way you don't have to create multiple multiple um, contents you can just um, use one ng content tag here you can you have an ng content tag here and you can select the one that you want because then I would have to keep copying over and over to project the content that I want. So, for example, if I wanted to do H1, then I'd say ng struct H1 and that, then I would have to do um, div with this as a parent again, and I don't want to do that. So, ng content allows me to select which particular tags that I want. And again, you can choose a component to render on here. So if you look closely now, what I've done is I've I have a jobs component that it was created a few lectures ago, uh, and this makes a call to an API to get some data. So what I've done is I've included it in the content inside my structural directive uh, component. So when I get to my HTML on the struct direct, I do a select and do jobs uh, and this in turn will take and render this particular component so if we refresh see that it 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 renders out my uh, jobs component and, and that's that's very powerful because now like like if you have and let's take a look at just the way that this is structured right you have different headers right you have a footer if you want to render a specific type of footer, you can select the one that you want based on logic. Okay, uh, and you can use you know your structural directive if if something then then do ng content select uh, you know footer one, footer two, footer three, um, and it makes it easy for you to swap in and swap out your front end HTML. Okay, I hope you've learned a little bit on how to use ng content. Very powerful tag. I think it's a little underestimated, but um, most of you are probably using it. So hopefully, this has increased your knowledge on ng content. And the next video, I am going to talk about ng container. Okay, so stay tuned for that. As always, you can always uh, reach me out at parttimeadjunct at gmail.com or visit my site at www.parttimeadjunct.com. I'm sorry, parttimeadjunct at gmail.com, website parttimeadjunct.com. See you guys on the next video. Thanks again for listening and watching. I hope it has been helping you. And if, um, if you, you find it useful then go ahead and subscribe I'm gonna post a couple of more angular videos and you should be done with your tutorial uh, and get started on an app take care